right, guys. So we got my wife's 2013 Explorer Sport. Uh, I had done a U-turn, and when I did a U-turn, I got on the throttle a little bit, and I felt some surging, and then uh, limped it home. And by the time we got home, there was a check engine light on. Uh, pulled a code. It was a P0003, which was insufficient, I think, reading from the fuel pressure regulator, something like that. Uh, I popped off the cover, which is pretty simple, right? You just pull it off. Make sure you take your cap off here, your oil cap. Um, immediately checked the high-pressure fuel pump, so I took the hat off. And when I did that, I noticed that the sensor, this was obviously connected at the time, was cracked and broken off. So, that being said, uh, you can buy, there's a couple different ways you can buy new ones. Uh, I was lucky enough to have a local friend that uh, had one because I know a lot of folks in the EcoBoost crowd. So, uh, that was lucky for me. I was able to pick one up. So, I'm going to show you how to put it on. First thing I like to do is just get some air and uh, blow everything out. Just blow it all out and get all the dust out of here. When dealing with the fuel lines of any type, um, I usually just put a rag over whatever I'm taking off. Uh, for this, it's, it's fairly simple. It's just a 17 millimeter wrench. Uh, normally I would use a line wrench because that's what this is, it's a line. Uh, but I do not have a line wrench that size, so I just used a standard and it works just fine. I keep the rag over top of everything, just in case uh, when you break the seal, there's some pressure to it. It shouldn't be on there too, too tight. Once you break it loose with the wrench, you should be able to take it all the way back. So basically, you want to push, you want to push this in towards the pump, and then pull out, push this towards your manifold, and then that should come off. The two torques are T45s, and there shouldn't be a lot of pressure on them. This one I've already broke loose. Not much. Here's your pump. Yeah, if I can do it by hand, it should be fine. You know what I mean? It's just that spring, that pressure. Specs are for this. Well, the ring should keep it from leaking, so I wouldn't right. torque it. It wasn't on there very tight, I'll say that much. Yeah. Oh, it feels like it bottoms out almost. Yeah, that's it. And that's just aluminum. T45. 
dude. Yeah, that's yeah. sick, dude. <laughs> I like it. That's the best Ford one that I've seen yet. I hate their fuel filter ones. Those things suck. Should put those things all over the car. No shit. Brake lines and yeah, that pretty much bottoms out too. Gentle with that turd. Okay. Well, seems like it.